Okay, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day again everyone. Today we will be discussing about the last form of the equation of the line which is the two intercept form and for me this is the easiest one kasi it's just purely multiplication and I will not be giving you any um, fractional values for this one kasi it would constitute to a complex fraction yeah, you could say it's a complex fraction kasi marami marami fraction born natin dito okay so anyways um this would be the two insert the intercept form equation and which is x over a plus y over b is equals to 1 and in this case po remember po yung tif natin shortcut for a uh, shortcut ng ating two intercept form and let's just um identify what are the different values here the a is just simply the x intercept okay and when we talk about intercept just like with our b which is the y intercept intercept the a and b are just simply points in the axis that the line intersects with okay so this would be your b and this would be your a it's just simply the point of intersection of the x axis ito doon sa line ito and also for the b um y axis to our line which is ayan okay so just intersections lang po so um Enough about that. Let's proceed to our example kasi this one is the easiest one kasi ang ginagawa lang natin dito technically is doing cross product. Okay? So, for example, our A or our line intersect at the value of, uh, I mean, the x-axis at negative 3 and our B is equals to positive 4. Okay? So, by substitution, guys, what would happen here would be your x would be over negative 3 and your y would be over positive 4. And our um, value on the other side would always be simply 1. Okay? So if we have this, what would happen here is we just simply need to cross multiply. Ano po yung cross multiply natin? Yung, va yung denominator sa 4, this one, it will go up here. And as for the x, the negative 3, it will go up here. Okay? And lastly, this is just, ano ah, this negative 3 and this negative 4, you will multiply them together and multiply it to the number on the, um, on the left, on the right side. Okay? You will multiply it on the number on the right side. So, given that, let's try to find now what is the equation of the line. So, 4 times x is, of course, 4x. And negative 3 times y would be negative 3y. Ibabalitan ko na agad yung sign ng plus natin. And this would be equals to 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. Times 1 yan. Okay? And this would be your equation of the line. Yan na yun, guys. This would be it. The equation of the line. It's actually quite easy nga. This um, slope, uh, two intercept form. Cross multiply and multiply lang for our value or constant on the right side. It's easy, very easy. Okay? So, let's have another example. So, we will not take long with this. I think we can finish this in under 10 minutes. Okay? So, our A, say, um, 3, and our B is negative 2. So, actually, may shortcut ako dito. Eh. Ang ginagawa ko nilang, it's BX plus AY is equals to a, B. Multiplication yan. Yung B natin, mapupunta sa X. So, negative 2X. Yung Y natin, magiging A, Y. So, 3Y. And yung A, B natin, multiply natin tong dalawa. So, we will multiply A, 3 and negative 2, giving us negative 6. And again, for um, aesthetics, let's change the cosmetics sa aesthetics. Okay? For aesthetics, para magandang tingnan, we will change the sign of X as positive. And we will change the sign of everything. So, this would be negative 3y and positive 6. And this would be your equation of the line. You're done. Easy, right? So, let's have our next example. Um, say we have our a as negative 9 and our b as positive 6. Okay? So, again, ang gagamitin lang natin, 
Kasi, ito class, ha, if you would may ask. Itong bx um, plus ay is equals to ab. This is uh, this actually came from the same equation. This actually came from the same equation. Ayan. This one, this is bx. This one, this is ay. And remember, you will multiply this one and give it to positive 1. This is ab. So that's why I got this. We got this one. And this is easier to solve. So let's have our 6b. 6 as our b and we have x and a y is negative 9 y is equals to a b. Negative 9 times 6, 9 times 6, 9 times 6. The answer is 54 and this is negative 54 because we have negative 9. And lastly, we need to change the positive negative or the plus negatives, plus minuses. 6 x minus 9 y is equals to negative 54 giving us our equation of the line. Easy enough? Yes. Oh, anong, uh, what would be the problem here for you guys if you don't know how to multiply numbers? And that would be really sad if you cannot. Okay, so try to go back. If you are having troubles when it comes to multiplication of integers. And lastly, say we have Say, uh, sige, uh, let me just give you kung merong fraction. Okay? Yeah. So, what if may fraction by any chance? So, it's the same. Remember, it's um, bx plus ay is equals to ab. So, what would happen? b is 2 thirds x plus ay is what? I mean, ay is 1 half y. ab, multiply this 2. This would be 2 over 6. Or just simply one third. Two over six or one third. Okay? So if that would be the case, we would want to eliminate all the fractions again. Okay? And again, when we are eliminating fractions, if there would be plus and minuses only, no multiplication, we need to be very generous. We will give the three to every one. Okay? We would give the two to everyone except for him and we would give our 3 here on the other side to everyone as well pamimigay mamimigay lang tayo ng values okay so giving them out okay giving them out will give you this answer okay so 2x muna 2x pamigay na let's give away the 3 it would be 3 halves y is equals to 3 over 3 and 3 over 3 would just simply give us positive 1. And anyway, sige, huwag nating, yeah. This would give you positive 1, okay? So next, we have, we give 2. So 4x plus 3y is equals to 2 times 1 here on the other side. 2 times 1 is just simply 2, okay? So again, we gave this here. So we have 4x and we gave our... 2 here also, so we got 2 times 1 is 2. And finally, is there any other uh, changes that we need to do? If there is nothing, then this would be your equation of the line. Okay, and again, box your final answer. Quite easy. Yes, the easiest one actually, in fact, except kung magka, if there would be fraction. But if there would be none, then it would be yeah, like this lang. Okay. So if you would have any other questions, you can go back to the video and you can also chat me in our chat group. Thank you again everyone for listening and Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.